I start my days often like, twice or three times a week, depending what type of the, of the season it is, roughly about two or three times a week. I'll start my day at the gym at seven. Um, so I'll have a gym session seven to eight, then go home, get ready, go to work. And then in the evening we have our sand sessions and that's usually five or six times a week. organized and very disciplined with my time so um, I have to be very full on as well so when I'm training I'm training when I have a meeting I have a meeting and when I'm at work I'm at work but then when I'm with my family and I'm relaxed I'm completely different as well during COVID it was really hard um, because obviously you have I mean in beach volleyball in particular it's two of you so there's a lot of teamwork involved but also you know the psychology the communication with one another and having that interaction with your teammates is really important friends um, and after playing together for so many years the understanding is quite good so she is the blocker and I'm the defender and then we have like different uh, skills and drills for each I have to be very dedicated with my time um, you know every minute is allocated so it's uh, yeah I have to be very organized with my time I don't tend to waste a lot of time I don't watch a lot of TV um, but I, I really enjoy it and I really enjoy the fact that I have the opportunity to do all of these things um, and I, I quite enjoy the balance To be voted in as vice president of the European Volleyball was more than a dream come true to me. Um, it's something that I really, I, I didn't expect at all and it, I was strongly encouraged to put my name down. So I was a little bit hesitant and reluctant because I, it, it was such a sort of massive thing to achieve that I didn't really think I would get elected. But I went ahead with it and I did it anyway. Um, and I trusted those that, who were advising me. Um, and encouraging me and, and I got voted in first time round. Um, for me it, it's, it's crazy when I think about it because it's uh, you know such a massive achievement and to come from uh, such a small place like Jib um, just makes it all even bigger. Um, but it goes to show as well that even coming from Gibraltar these things, these big big things for us are possible and achievable as well. I see volleyball in Gibraltar growing massively over the next few years and as a result of that the indoor leagues have had the highest number of teams in I don't even know how many years um, so I think it's just going to keep growing and growing and from our part of course we're working really hard to continue that growth and to assist that growth in obtaining funding, obtaining coaches um, and just providing Gibraltarians with as many opportunities as we can. Thank you.